This is the starter of that uh, Kohler command over there, 12.5 it is. Well, it worked to start with when I tried to start the motor. But after a bit, the motor turned to a really slow starter motor. Real slow. And the uh, cable from the battery got pretty hot. And I thought, well, shoot, I guess something went wrong. So I took this all off of here, took it all apart, looked, and the, the, everything seals look good, the armature looks good. I did notice a little burn mark on this one brush here, which looks like it might have shorted. And then when you look inside here, there's these four little tips in here. I don't know what their purpose is because they don't really line up with uh, with these brushes. When you put this on here, it fits like that. You tip it right up. Those go in between like that. And uh, so after taking it apart two or three times, I get it to work a little while, then it quit again. So I took and uh, cut me a little washer out of a milk cart. And I stuck that thing in here and. Uh, Center it up real good, and that keeps the uh, uh, that keeps the uh, brushes from contacting any metal, which I guess was shorted. And then after putting that back together, which is really kind of a not bad once you get onto it, but putting them little springs back in there. I, hell, there was a couple. One time as they shot out there, I lost two of them. I thought, well, that's the end of this starter. I got the springs around here, and lo and behold, I found them. So. Uh, anyway, you got to watch what you're doing. You put them back in. I'm sure most people that's worked on mowers very long has probably experienced that problem. But anyway, I kind of roughly cut this out. That was a two-inch outside, one-inch inside. And uh, you carefully put this back down on here. If I can do this now without messing something up, which uh, I might I might do. I don't know. It should go right on there. There it goes down on there. And we'll. Uh, We'll check this thing. I'm going to put this back together. And uh, we'll see if it still works. I might have made a big mistake by taking that apart to show you all. But uh, I don't know if anybody's got any ideas why that brush would be grounded on there when there's not really anything to hit. I would appreciate the uh, information. I really would. I'm not one of them kind of guys that thinks they know it all because I darn sure don't know it all. And I do accept help very readily. Actually, a lot of people have helped me out on YouTube already. If it hadn't been for that, I don't know. A lot of things I probably couldn't have done, you know. So, so I am no ace. Okay, we'll see what the, what goes on here now. Let me see. i got to change this out. I'll put that, this back on here. don't really have to have that on there to, to test the starter, but uh, if you're going to... Uh, put it back on the mower obviously it's got to be there you know so all right we'll change this out real quick and tighten this up and turn the thing in the right direction don't need it very tight just good enough no to twist the threads off now we'll bring this trusty old thing here over and we'll see what happens if anything the biggest problem is keeping the ground on this thing See what happens here now. See if she runs. Yep, I think it does. So, whether or not the thing will stay running or stay working is another thing, but at this point, it's all right. So, we shall see. Time will tell. Thanks for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking, and all that kind of thing.